Now, earlier this year, we set out to help street struggling couples achieve their dream of becoming parents as Dr Larissa Corder introduced them to her conception plan. But was it a success? In just a moment, we'll be catching up with one of our couples. But first, here's a reminder of their story. When I first met Catherine and Dan back in March, they'd already been informed by their GP that their chances of falling pregnant were greatly reduced. We've been trying for about 18 months, two years. My ovaries were had a lot of cysts on them and they diagnosed me with polycystic ovary syndrome. We thought it would be an idea if I had a sperm test. The GP said that the number of healthy sperm could have been higher. And their difficulty getting pregnant was proving to be a very stressful experience. When you come across so many hurdles, it just knocks you back constantly. It's thinking, when are we going to get a break, really? I wanted to help and began making just a few lifestyle changes that could have a positive impact on their chances of conception. From improving their diet... There's so much good stuff out there that you can eat that can really help to boost your chances of getting pregnant. To introducing all natural products into their home. I knew plastic was bad, yeah. but not as bad as how it can affect us and what we're going through. Taking care of their mind and body with a yoga and spa retreat. This emotion did flood out of me and it did make me feel that actually I just need to think a little bit more about myself. And even a hike to an ancient fertility symbol. The CERN Abbas giant we see right behind us there. <laughs> so they followed my drug-free conception plan for the last four months. But have these changes actually made a difference? I want to be a mum now. I'm ready to be mum. Yeah, I think. <laughs> And I think she'll be an amazing one. Well, Catherine and Dan join us now alongside Dr Larissa. And we've got some big news, haven't we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell everyone. We are pregnant. Amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, so emotional. I'm so sorry. No, that's it's all fine. right. You're allowed to be emotional because yeah. this has been tough. This has been three years of trying yeah. and getting nowhere. And finally, I think sometimes you dare to dream, don't you? Because you just you just think it's not possible. You do, you do. You go through a stage of, OK, let's try a different avenue. Let's see what other people are doing. Because you don't realise how many people actually struggle with fertility yeah. until you start to talk to other people about your problem, if you wanted to. Yeah. But you took this very seriously. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah, we, did. we went in a thousand percent. How did it change? What did you do to change your life? And we'll, we'll talk to uh, Alyssa about her tips in a moment. I think um, diet, everything we changed completely. Uh, we cut out meat. We pretty much went completely vegan. Um, and it made a big difference, it didn't did. it? It did, yeah, hugely. To the point where, for us, it was just our whole bodies felt different. I got up in the morning and I just felt the best I've ever felt. My mm. skin felt amazing. I thought, gosh, I can't believe such a significant change yeah, making... can do something like that. So it was, it was the cat that tipped you off that you were pregnant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love my cat. Um, <laughs> but he was so clingy. And I was... I said to Dan, I said, there's something going on with Seb. He's either poorly or, you know, I need to take him to the vet. So, yeah, it was quite... But he wouldn't... He was just sitting on my tummy He's constantly. To tell you. I know, and he still is now. Oh, it's a very protective <laughs> yeah. of So you went, yeah. uh, you went and bought uh, a pregnancy testing kit and it yeah. was terribly faint and you weren't fine, yeah. which is when you texted Larissa. We did, yeah. And Larissa said, go and get another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Larissa said, wait till Wednesday. This was Sunday. I went, Wednesday? Well, yeah. I said to Dan, I said, Straight in the car. <laughs> I can't wait till Wednesday. So, yeah, straight in the car, straight back. Wow. And so what was that moment like when you went for your first scan and you've got some of the pictures I have, now, yeah. which are just so precious. I know. Which is which is the have you got some on the we can show you Yeah, they're all got you at the scan here having your scan done. They're so. all twelve weeks, but baby was not playing ball. Arms ah. crossed, legs crossed, very relaxed. So yeah, they're not And they're hearing not... that heartbeat for the first time. Oh yeah. Well yeah. I we were a blubbering mess, weren't we? Amazing, but yeah. all happy, you know, happy tears, of um, course. You, yes. um, you've got some tips for us in, in, in a moment and you're part of, uh, of our phone-in today. Yeah. And so, yeah. uh, so if, if you are going to take some calls, what can you help with? Gosh, well, everything we've just been talking about, I mean, I'm, I'm just so over the moon for <laughs> Catherine and Dan because they, it, it's just incredible news and they did so, so well. I mean, what Catherine said about being a thousand percent committed is so true. They really went to town and, you know, we, we can't forget that both of you had really significant issues here. Yeah. You know, yeah. Catherine's got polycystic ovaries and Dan, you've got some... Sperm... Bilateral uh, um, hernias, yeah. Right, so some hernias and also varicocele, which is, yeah. yeah, so this is dilatation or enlargement of some 
veins that can affect the testicles and can affect sperm counts. So these are really significant issues, and yet with the commitment that they've shown to the plan, yeah. they've been able to do it naturally, which mm. is absolutely incredible. So, yes, the tips we'll be discussing are all to do with that, so changing your diet, fitness... And you can uh, you can help with all manner of fertility, uh, fertility yeah, issues in the, in the absolutely. phone. absolutely. Um, if yeah. Larissa can help, give us a call for free on 08000 30 40 44. You can download our free This Morning app, click Get Involved, making sure you leave a contact number. We need you to get in touch by 11.15 today and you must be 18 or over. You were discussing nutrition and how much of a difference that makes, and it is, I mean, it's a very simple thing, but it has a huge impact. It has a huge impact, Holly, and I think, you know, last time I was here we spoke a lot about nutrition and the impact that that can have on fertility. But the other thing that I think really helped Catherine in particular with this was some stress relief and management and the fact that we addressed quite a lot of... Um, deeper emotional issues that were existing as well. And I think that really, really helped. I remember going to the retreat yeah. and, and the significance of that for yeah. you. you the just... emotional side of things, it was just, I just come out of there and I, I was, we were on the way home and I said to Dan, I feel different. Mm. I feel like a different person. You look different, actually. Yeah. I remember all of us being completely yeah. shocked at your response and yeah. how powerful it you were was. Also, uh, you're also <clears throat> a proponent of living in a, in a toxin-free environment, if you can, so that's clearing out all the cleaning products and getting bio products. Right, yes. I mean, it sounds quite extreme, and certainly when we arrived at your house and started <laughs> introducing <laughs> you to these concepts, you sort of went, hang on a minute, you yeah. know, um, which is understandable. But the point is that we made little introductions one step at a time, so things like starting off with a water filter, yeah. being mindful of the fact that, you know, tap water could contain certain chemicals that mm -hmm. could be harmful, so trying to filter that, and then making other adjustments, so yeah. skincare routine, and I uh -huh. think you've loved doing I've that, loved haven't it. you? Yeah, obviously, the bank balance, and Dan is like, oh, another <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> well, you <laughs> look absolutely yeah. amazing. You do. How do you uh, feel? So, so... I feel really well. Okay. Yeah, we're thank so you so thrilled much. Thrilled thank you. you. We love a happy ending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're so grateful, aren't yeah, we? We are so, so grateful. Thank you very much.